Welcome to Quick Start Tutorial 2025 version. First, let's take a look at the window layout of the UI. At the top, you'll find the main menu. And the top right, you'll find an icon to open the library. There is an AI Studio icon next to the library icon. The AI icon is disabled by default, but you can enable it for use on your website if you want. 3D Window Tool Groups for 3D Workspace is located at the top of the 3D window. Under the 3D Tool Group, you'll find the 3D Window Display options, which allow you to toggle the settings visible in the 3D workspace. The 2D Pattern window has tools for creating 2D patterns located at the top. Under the 2D Tool Group, you'll find the 2D Window Display options, which allow you to toggle display-related settings in the 2D Pattern workspace. On the right side of the screen, you'll find the object browser, which allows you to configure various objects needed for garment creation, such as fabrics, top stitches, and trims, and so on. From left to right, you can configure and manage each of the following. Scene browser, fabric, graphic, button, buttonhole, top stitch, puckering, trim, and zipper. At the bottom of the object browser, there's the property editor, where you can configure various detailed options for patterns and selected objects. Click the arrow icon at the very bottom to open the Animation Editor window. Click the Detach icon to move around the window freely. Click the Maximize icon to expand the window to fit the screen. Click the Minimize icon to return it to its previous size. Use the dock icon to pin the window back to its original position. Use the close icon to close the window, like the animation editor. Other windows can also be hidden, detached, or rearranged however you like. In the bottom right corner, you can choose from default layouts or view just the 3D or 2D windows individually. Click Reset Layout to return to the default view with both 3D and 2D windows. If you need any additional windows, you can easily manage them all from the Window tab. If you want to open a specific window, go to Main Menu Greater Than Window and turn it on or off as needed. Or, by right-clicking on the name of each window, you can turn the required window on or off. You can now save and export your custom UI layouts and reload them whenever you need. You can also export your custom layout and reuse it later through the menu.